Hey friends, it's Marie and welcome back to my channel. I am showing off the August Glimmer Kit from Spellbinders. Now this Glimmer Kit has all of these glimmer plates that are in a banner shape and you can glimmer them. They've got different sentiments on there. There's also a few coordinating dies so you can cut these banners out like I've done here. I've glimmered a few of them on colored cardstock. You can also do white or you can use those dies to just cut out a plain banner and what I think is really cool about this die is that it also cuts a few holes in the ends so you can string these up for a little banner you can uh, put a little ribbon on there you can use the little stick die to create little pennants and different things and it's a really fun so I've made a few cards here I've used one for a little thank you card and then I've created another card using all those dies with a little hello card those are really fun and easy Today on my video, I'm going to make some cupcake toppers. I thought I would do something a little bit different and show how you can maybe incorporate these glimmer plates into a birthday party or a little celebration if you wanted to. So I'm using some of this foil. It's really pretty. It's gold with sort of a rainbow shine to it. And I'm just cutting a little piece and putting it onto my glimmer um, plates. Make sure your glimmer machine is heated up. That platform light is on. Once that platform light is solid green, you can press the timer button and then you'll have that green flashing light. And when that green flashing light is solid, you are ready to run it through your glimmer machine. Now I like to get my uh, foil and my cardstock all ready while it's flashing so that when it turns green, you're ready to go. So you just want to build your foil sandwich. You have your glimmer plates down first. You have your fo foil down over your glimmer plates and you want it pretty side down. Then you want to put your cardstock and then your shims and then you can run it through your platinum six. So that's what I'm doing here just kind of uh, cranking it through. And I like to go slowly so that I get a good even pressure on my glimmer plates. And then you can just kind of pull that foil off when you're done. So since I don't have a whole lot of room on my workspace, I have to shuffle things around to get it all in the camera so that you can see. Um, so I move my die cutting machine to the side so I can reveal the foil. Now I think this is the fun part is pulling off that foil and seeing what it looks like underneath. Now you can see there's a few places where it didn't completely foil. I think I needed maybe a little bit more pressure. So if that happens to you, you can add another shim or you can just kind of try it again. So definitely play around with your plates on some scrap paper first and figure out how much pressure you need and different things. Another thing I've noticed is that in the morning when it's a little bit cooler or, or when I have um, the air conditioning on and it's a little bit cooler inside, I need to give it a little bit more time to warm up on my glimmer machine before I go ahead and foil it. So that's something to think about as well. So now that I have some of these plates glimmered, I'm gonna line up this die and just cut it out with my die cutting machine. So I'm lining this die up. I'm gonna tape it down with a little washi tape so it doesn't slip around in my die cutting machine. And then I just crank it through. And it cuts out this banner perfectly and it cuts out those little holes on the side and if you get something uh one of those pieces of cardstock stuck in there you can just poke it out with your tool in one and you have a cute little banner so like i mentioned i'm going to be building a cupcake talker topper um and so i've gone ahead i've cut out a bunch of pattern papers i cut out some glitter paper i'm going to layer this glimmered banner on top of some glitter paper and make this super shiny and sparkly um, i think this would be really fun for our birthday cupcakes or something just a really easy way to kind of spice up some store-bought cupcakes if you're pinched on time or you can also go ahead and do a whole birthday theme different colors and everything I think that these foils with the rainbow shine would be really fun for a unicorn party or something like that maybe a mermaid party I think that would be really fun so I'm just doing some foam adhesive on the back of this birthday banner and adhering it down to my glitter banner underneath. And so I've got sort of a double layer banner here. So for my cupcake toppers, I've got some of these uh, treat sticks and they're pretty long. You can leave them long, but I've taken them and I've cut them in half. So they're a little bit shorter. You could also use toothpicks, but I kind of liked that these were white. They were a little bit thicker, easier to adhere your banner to. And I think they look really cute. 
I also thought it would be fun to get some of those paper straws and make sort of embellishment for paper straws or if you were doing a party that would be fun too. So go ahead and glue that onto your stick and then I liked to embellish my little cupcake toppers with a little bit of string. You could do um, you know jewels or beads or anything too if you wanted to glue those on there. I just thought this uh, string really was cute so I just tied a little bow and then glued it on top of my cupcake banner. So I'm just tying a little bow here with my string kind of fiddling with it to get it the right size, right shape, and then I'm going to glue it down with some of that Nuvo Deluxe Glue. I really like that liquid glue. It gives you a little bit of wiggle time before it dries, um, but it does dry quickly so you don't have to sit there forever and wait for your glue to dry. <laughs> and that's always great because I'm a little impatient when it comes to glue drying. So I just trimmed the ends of that little bow there, and I have some cute little banners. Um, I also wanted to show you that if you wanted to make like a little party banner or a little cake banner, have you seen those banners on cakes that they string up on the top of the cake? It's really so cute. Um, I've cut out a lot of these banners from pattern paper, um, blues and pinks and polka dots and stripes. You can cut out a bunch of these in any color. You can do school colors if you're doing a graduation or, you know, baby shower colors, bridal shower colors, whatever you want. Just cut out a bunch of these, cut a piece of string, and then just string them through the holes on top. So these dies and these glimmer plates make it so super easy and simple for you to kind of create a fun little party of um, treats on your food table or just some really cute mini decorations. So I'm just stringing the string through these holes, going in and out, back and forth, just like if you were maybe doing a simple stitch or something, and you wanna just string them all on that string. Now leave a little bit of room on each end so that you can tie it onto your sticks and then stick it into your cake. So I went super simple here. Um, I bought some store-bought cupcakes and I think it's great to be simple and put things together but not stress out about it so I'm all for the store-bought cupcakes. I went and I bought a few packs and I did get a few extra because my family would be mad if I made some cupcake toppers and didn't let them have any. So then you just simply stick it in your cupcake and you're done. I think it's really cute, really simple and of course make sure you enjoy those cupcakes. Take a big bite like I did and enjoy your party. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking out August Glimmer Kit from Spellbinders. Um, I'll have more links down below. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share, tap the bell to get notifications and just do all the things. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.